Hey everybody, welcome to the Muddy Reviews. Uh, today's review is going to be over the Warrior Assault Systems Recon Play Carrier. Uh, this multicam recon you have in front of you is a size medium. And this recon is very akin to something like a Cry Precision JPC. It's a little smaller and it's made to be more of a uh, lighter weight type play carrier. Um, I really like this carrier quite a bit. I actually picked this up for my Belgian SFG kit, but I've been using it for other stuff as well. So we're going to start talking about the front. We'll work our way around it and uh, to the back. So on the front, you have um, plenty of Molly real estate. Uh, you've got these uh, kind of angled pieces here. Uh, you can use these to run PTTs and the whatnot. Uh, and you have a small loop field uh, right here for IFF, like flags, etc. You have two rows of Molly here, uh, four, four channels each. And then you've got your two uh, connection points for placards. So this is a standard style uh, Velcro like closure bib, but the actual karma does not connect there. It connects with these uh, side release buckles here on the side. So what you can end up doing is getting different uh, placards uh, for this guy and run them on here. Uh, you could run your choice of placard really uh, from other companies or even Warrior Assault Systems. Uh, Wasp does make different placard connectors they do go on here, uh, but you could definitely run uh, something from Spiritus, like a micro or anything like that. Anything that's got a uh, hook lining on the back and attaches to a loot field and clips in, and you're good to go. Or, as you can see here, I've got the PALS webbing version here, and it goes through, and then it just goes down, and it's good. Uh, on this one here, you've got your three rows of uh, six channels each, and it's plenty, uh, plenty much space for like a triple. Uh, what I normally run on here is a uh, Warrior Soul Systems uh, triple pouch. Let's go. Yeah, we'll talk about the shoulders. So the shoulders are a similar shape-ish to like JPC shoulders, but they are just solid uh, Cordura. There's another model of plate carrier from Wasp that's kind of similar to this. It does have like a JPC style-ish uh, Hapalon shoulder with the cutout on the front, but not on the rear. And that's just another version they do have. Uh, the shoulder pads are quite, kind of nice. Uh, they Velcro on here and here in the back and then right here. like a two-piece system so you've got your spacer mesh there and then you've got your cover here and this is the part that has the uh, cord loops or the uh, wire management so if you wanted to run this but you didn't want the actual uh, mesh portion or the the uh, padding you could run them independently one another and that's a feature I kind of like from this carrier from their design is you don't it's an either or and you don't need uh, to run the shoulder pads to get the wire management or vice versa. You could run just the padding or just the wire management. Or you could choose to run none at all. And then the shoulder itself is very similar like a 6094 or some others. It's just Velcro. And it's pretty simple to adjust. So going on to the uh, cummerbund. Uh, the cummerbund is... It comes standard with a uh, three-strand uh, cover bun, similar to a JPC's, except as you can see here, it terminates into the front of the carrier into two side release buckles. Uh, at first, this took a little getting used to. It was kind of awkward, but I've kind of come to like it. Uh, a lot of airflow. It's very roomy, very airy. I'm not sure why it has this pile here, because uh, there's no area to connect here on the front, so you can't opt to close it like a standard cummerbund so i don't know what that's for i'm not sure if that's for running some if they make a uh, outrigger pouch possibly that has hook on the front uh to secure that to maybe they make a uh, a radio wing that i'm not aware of and that might be what that's for the rear cummerbund secures in the back and you can access to this velcro panel here uh velcros down and then it has 
a small elastic here to give you a little uh, give and a little adjustment. As you can see in the rear, uh, the rear shoulders terminate back uh, just like the front with this solid Cordura shoulder, but it's very similar in shape to a JPC as well. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, you have a drag handle. Uh, it buffers down out of the way when not, when not needed, but it's easy to grab and get. I uh, like it. It's also uh, uh, very, very well stitched. It's like quadruple, triple stitched. Um, so that thing's not coming off, not coming apart. Uh, stitching on this play carrier is really well, really good. Um, I'm a big fan of Warrior Soul Systems uh, stuff. Their stitching's been top notch so far. This is my first play carrier for them, but I have a lot of pouches from Was, and um, I do plan on getting a lot more of their their equipment because their stuff's just been stellar. Uh, I liked their choice of the uh, Jacquard uh, woven multicam. Uh, one inch over the uh, solution dyed. I just think it looks better. Um, it could be a little stiff at times, but personally, I just I think it goes it goes better personally. Um, so that was a kind of nice touch. The plate bags themselves. Open her up. Are uh, very easy to access. As you can see, the inside of the plate carry has a spacer mesh. Uh, it's very comfortable. It does good at dissipating heat. Uh, the plate bags are just like any other plate carrier. You just Velcro, access, pull down, and you access your plate that way. Uh, there's really nothing to write home about on the inside of these. It's just a big open cavern. Uh, both plate bags are fairly identical as far as the uh, entry and exit. You have the little pull tab here to get to the plate, and that's it. Uh, overall, it's a really nice plate carrier. Uh, very well made, very robust. Uh, if you're in the market for something similar to a JPC and you want something not a JPC, uh, definitely check these uh, Warrior Salt Systems uh, recons out. They're pretty cool. If you're trying to do a, a more European-based soft kit, uh, these are definitely a great option because they're seen quite a bit uh, with those kind of units. And if you just want something different, these are really good to go. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope this was an informative video. If I didn't cover something, let me know in the comment section below, and I'll be more than happy uh, to go into further detail. Thanks for watching. Take care, guys. I'll see you in the next one.